Hello and welcome back to our HIP Roman Restoration campaign. In our last episode we won our little holy war that we were fighting over here in Damascus pretty easily and we have declared upon Croatia for their largest duchy here which is one of four that we still need to take from them I think so we'll want to probably plot to kill the king pretty much as soon as this is over with. I don't want to start a plot now just in case we get lucky slash unlucky and it fires really quickly and we end up getting a truce with the new king. We are currently plotting to kill the duke over here, or the count, so let's keep that going for the moment. Oh, and he's appointed a spy master who doesn't like him very much. That's useful. We'll send her a bribe. Is that his wife? It is. Possible mistake by him. Why does she hate him so much? She got laughed off, and she's kind whereas he is envious. Well, it sounds like you should treat your wife better. Or she might kill you. Our sister has arrived at our court. Okay. Not sure where she was. I guess we could get her married. Perhaps to a vassal duke, that would improve opinion. See if there's any interesting alliances we could get. Well, we already have an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire, so... Not much point doing that. Yeah, we'll just see if anybody offers. Oh, and our Ecclesiarch has managed to convert Constantinople already, which is nice since having heresy in our capital was just embarrassing and also fulfilled our ambition. So I guess we'll just move him back to Sicily. probably just take the same ambition again. Not sure how likely it is that we're going to get up to a thousand piety anytime soon. Okay, we lost our steward. And though this guy is going to be a pretty good candidate and also improving his opinion is a nice bonus. So we're about to start getting sieges over here, which should allow us to end this pretty quickly. Hopefully this first wave of sieges is enough. Okay, daughter was born to... This guy and somebody? Okay. He's my niece anyway. Enemy courtiers found, we'll take them all prisoner. Gets us to 95, so this last siege will probably do it. The fishing industry of Tekir Dag is experiencing something of a boom. For some reason, the population of fish has grown dramatically, significantly increasing the amount of fish available. This will feed many families and also provide a lot of fish that can be traded elsewhere. So we get extra tax and levy and faster build times. Peasant revolt for Constantinople. Okay. Only 8,000. Do we have higher revolt risk here for some reason? I guess the religious unrest from the heresy. Okay. Well, that's fine. 
we can take care of that with some of these troops we have raised after we have ended this war we will take our vassalized old titles uh, mostly vassalized We'll just grant the duchy title. Oh, we actually don't need to grant the duchy title because it is already held by this guy. We'll ask him to convert. Oh, we can't ask him to convert because we're not at peace. Okay, well, we'll just transfer the vassalage. He should be happy enough. Uh, you are where? Wait, let me see what's going on here. Oh, it looks like he has everything he's supposed to have. Except he doesn't. This guy is under me. And uh, do you have multiple counties or something? Nope. Well, he's not showing up in this list for some reason. Oh well. No big deal, I guess. We'll probably be able to take care of it later. I watched my daughter in Valyria at play with another child yesterday and noticed that she didn't want to share her toys. We'll try to make her charitable. Uh, we'll send this many troops and just disband the rest. Bogomless Heresy in Thrace. Again in our domain, I think. Though not in our actual capital this time. So we'll try to do something about that. The Duke of Taranto can be a commander, sure. And this Duke has challenged me to a friendly game, which we'll accept, and everyone goes home happy. He's up to 100 opinion, but we do have a faction. Independence this time, okay. Well, let's hand out some more bribes, I suppose. Mostly to the dukes and kings. Should be good enough. Uh, yeah, this guy's actually imprisoned by me, so we should be able to just release him. And maybe that's let, that lets us transfer. What is the county again? He's still not in this list. Okay. Is he actually part of a different duchy? Nope. Then I have no idea why we can't, tra can't transfer that. But it's probably not a big deal. It's not putting us over our vassal limit at the moment or anything. Okay, Thrace is converted. Why can't you do such a quick job over in Sicily? We do, of course, have the actual Kingdom of Bosnia here. But it's only du jour in this area. We might be able to usurp Cro Croatia, actually. Except not while the king still exists there. Uh, 
Well, we'll be able to at some point. We will not burn down the trade post in Cephalonia. Hopefully we catch them here so we don't have to attack them over the strait. We are not going to catch them. This guy is already appointed, so we're already getting quicker movement. Thessalonica is happier, that's good. Now we'll probably just attack them over the strait, it'll be fine. On the other hand, we could go around this way. It's probably better. My daughter is mastering the art of diplomacy. Oh, and they've just hopped right back across the strait. Okay. Well, in that case... We'll take the crossing penalty. Need to appoint a new Chancellor. Our new Duke of Croatia, I guess, is the best candidate. Uh, let's see who we might need to send him to. So Thessalonica, who is the one that we were working on previously, is pretty much fine now. Anyone in the 60s or so I'm not too concerned about. Nicopolis, I guess. Gonna be the next best one. Or next worst. Yeah, factions are looking a lot better now. So we take the crossing penalty, we should be just fine though. And that's 100% already. Okay, so now that we're at peace, we can ask that Duke to convert. Oh, is he actually fighting that other guy? Is that what's going on? Yes. Okay, that explains it. I'm glad I figured that out. So we could convert him. Um, I think we had some other people to convert as well. I wish there was an easier way to see the religions of your vassals. I guess we'll find the low opinion ones and see which ones think I'm a heretic. Religious differences? Well, he's not at a high enough opinion to convert, so... We'll send him a gift. Uh, this guy apparently is the wrong religion too. She apparently is the same religion. care about the lower level vassals that much. Thinks I'm a foreigner, but no problem with my religion. Alright, well, I think we've taken care of most of the ones that were causing some kind of a problem. Uh, this guy is Orthodox, I think. I think pretty much everyone down here in Italy is Orthodox. Or at least the Dukes, which is what we mostly care about. Okay. So, it would be very nice if this plot would fire at some point. 
bribe this guy. Which won't quite get us over 200, but may as well, just in case something changes here. Are any of these people close? You're pretty close. And you like money. Still didn't convince him, though. But I count six pluses and three minuses. He should be in the plot. A new cosmetic popular among the noble women is made using the egg yolk from quail eggs instead of the usual chicken eggs. But quail eggs are a rare luxury, much more suited for gourmet food. Are these women truly vain? We can say it's a useless product and gain some prestige, or we say I could have eaten those eggs and maybe become gluttonous. You probably don't want. Or we can say it doesn't concern me, the fat will pass in time. Eh, uh, sure. We'll do that. Oh good, uh, my co-conspirator, Countess Marina, has procured a poisonous viper and sends word that it will soon dig its fangs into her husband. Just don't point it at me. This is what you get for laughing at your wife. He's actually not even annoyed about that anymore. Well, let's hope it succeeds. It does. The snake performed its duty with aplomb and pumped the count full of its deadly venom, and it slipped away into the night, so my involvement was not discovered. So that ends our truce over here. Okay, so unfortunately it would be two separate wars to take both of his counties. We can also declare for holdings in this county, there's one that is under him. But maybe there's a better way. Our vassal despot has a claim on the duchy title, which may or may not give us the whole thing. Alternatively, I think we could create the Kingdom of Sicily and get a de jure claim. Again, I think that would be a per duchy claim though, so it would still be two separate wars. I don't really like the idea of pressing our vassal's claim, since he'll end up with land here and over here, and then it's going to be kind of a mess. What is that? Less annoying than fighting two separate wars. What would our chances be of killing this guy? Okay, so we can probably kill him very quickly and end our truce after we win the first war. So it won't actually be that annoying. I'm convinced we'll just do the two separate Imperial Reconquests. And I guess we'll take this one first. Doesn't really matter. And I guess we'll start plotting against the King of Croatia as well. And we'll see where we get without bribing anyone. Uh, this guy should not be very powerful at all, so we can probably get away with just using our troops from Italy. And even then, maybe not even all of them. Mm -hmm. 
assuming he has no powerful allies or anything. Apparently he managed to siege something in here. My uncle will not be getting a fief of his own. Well, we'll go fight his army and then I think we'll actually siege his capital first. Since capturing the duke himself would obviously end the war immediately. Sure, you can be a commander. Uh, let's raise a few more troops from around here and we can go in and siege this too. New Duke, who's pretty happy with me, he's content. And Dukissa Zoe here has been made happier, that's good. Alright, well we are out of time for this episode so we'll leave it here and continue this war in the next one. Oh, well before that happens let's uh, take care of this. I was inspecting the damage to the highest tower in Constantinople when the head of my daughter Valeria appeared outside the window 50 meters above ground. What should I do with this curious child? I think we'll take the risk of uh, maiming her. She's probably not going to inherit anyway. And she became honest. Okay, that's good. And we took that siege back. So we should be able to end this war pretty quickly in the next one and hopefully kill the Duke and get another one started. But for now, thanks for watching and join me again next time.